All right, let's all say the answer to this problem, okay, that we all individually arrived at, and we'll say it all simultaneously. So this is, uh, 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 are we ready for this? Okay, now if you didn't get the answer, just say some random number, but say it sort of under your breath, okay? So are we ready? One, two, three. Oh, you guys are, oh, it's right there. there you, go. Now, you guys got it. I know you all did, right? Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal, right? We've got the bullet going along. And you've got the block of wood, right? Okay. We actually have to draw three pictures. I drew two. That's kind of a trick, you know. So the next picture is the block of wood after it's like ingested the bullet, but before it has risen to any great height. Yeah. Okay. And then the third, the third picture is of course uh, the block having risen to some height with the bullet still in it, mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. So what do we do from here to here? Something equals something. Is it momentum? Or is it energy? Nathan's got something for it. Yeah, one of mv turns into what? Into mgh, right? Certainly momentum is not conserved because the block's moving here and there it's not moving. Yeah? I don't know if I can see that. Can I see that on there? Let's just see. Can I see that? No, it's off the camera. That's kind of funny. That'd be funny to put a video in there where you, you can't see the right side. Okay, so we can't we use that knowing the height is 0.042? Can't we can't we figure out this velocity? Yeah, so do that. Take your calculator right now and, and solve for what that velocity is. It's going to look like this: one half m v squared is m times 9.81. Now, do we need the mass to solve for this? Isn't it the same mass? So can't we just do that? We know the mass, so if that may, doesn't work for you, if you're like a conscientious objector and you have religious objections to crossing off the mass, then just put it in there because we know what it is, right? We know that this mass is 3.215 plus 0 0.0065. And we don't want to round this velocity. I'm much more impressed with you if you have a calculator out right now and are touching it. Yeah. 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 Woo, I'm happy to be your teacher. Get out a calculator and calculate it. Isn't, if we solve this for V, isn't V always the square root of 2GH? Yeah, it is, isn't it? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. So the square root of 2 times 9.81 times 0 0.042, how fast could that be going? I've solved that one enough that I know the solution for V. How fast is it going? 0 0.9 what? Right now, we don't want a bunch of sig figs. A bunch of them. 0 0.907, yeah, there we go. What, 7766 or something like that? Is that what it is? Keep going, right? Okay, so that is our, that is our, um, our velocity. This is, by the way, this uh, velocity is 2GH. You see that a lot of places, right? If, for example, you had a bucket of water and you drilled a hole in the side of the bucket some distance H from the top, the water is going to spray out. This velocity here is square root of two gh, called Torricelli's Torricelli's theorem, right? They live next to the Smaria Jassis, I think. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Okay. Um, yeah. Here. Okay. Here's while we're on this, right? Here's my favorite thing: is in cartoons you've got the water. And then there's a boat on the water. Yes. Are you picturing this? Right. And they poke a hole in the boat, and where, what does the water do? Sprays up, like psh, crazy high, right? Way above their heads, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing, right? So here's what you do. This is a perpetual motion machine, right? You catch the water when it goes above this water level. You capture that water. Don't let it go back into the boat, because that would make the boat sink, right? And you make it go through a turbine and generate electricity before it can get back to this water. And you've got free energy forever. Either that or water, when it sprays up, doesn't go higher than the water line, right? It doesn't spray up higher 
then this, it's going to spray up just exactly, and that takes all the fun out of it, doesn't it? I know. Yeah. Probably you can't design so simply something that would give us infinite energy uh, for years to come. But, you know, that's just a guess. Okay. Now, how do we go, how do we get this velocity? If we know that this combined mass was going this fast, how fast does this have to go to give it that much mass? Do we use energy or do we use momentum? Got to use momentum because kinetic energy is not conserved. It turns into heat. Yes? A lot of kinetic energy turns into heat. But we can say momentum is conserved. Momentum is always conserved in every collision. So set up, whoa, set up that equation. Set up the momentum of this equals the momentum of that bullet and solve for the velocity of that bullet. Set up that expression. This thing has a mass of 0 0.0065. This has a mass of the two added together because they're stuck together. Yeah? And solve for the velocity that it's got before it collided. This looks like you writing things down or touching your calculator. Don't even bother setting an alarm tonight. It's, it's all over. There's just no chance. In fact, <laughs> in fact, there's no way, there's no way we could have school. No, wait, wait, that's tempting fake because we're, we're going to have school. There's no way it could snow that much. There's no possible way it could snow enough to close school. Never. Nothing in the universe is powerful enough to close down school tomorrow. That's the right way to do it, isn't it? There's nothing in the universe that would prevent us from going to school tomorrow. It is definitely going to happen. You can just count on it. You can go to bed extra early. Yeah, yeah. Here's the expression if you uh, are incapable of uh, critical thinking, right? So it's this velocity that we got here times this. This is actually not terribly critical thought, right? Is, and then divide by the mass of the bullet. Yeah? What do you get? Do you get your 449.9? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And we only have two sig figs, so... Yeah?